Hello, buddy. I am FTA. And I'm Apple. And uh, welcome to another uh, mini LP of a fan favorite of mine, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in Time. Yes, you will notice we are using the American version on my completely legal Raspberry Pi, um, as opposed to the the normal version I play with, Jesus, the strong and effect. The, I know, right? Close to the seizure warning at the beginning. Um, as opposed to the version I normally play on, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, because I grew up in England, of course. You guys really hated ninjas back then, huh? We did. We're gonna quickly. We're gonna just select a few things. We're gonna up the rests. We're gonna put play a dash on manual. Wow, you're gonna leave it on hard. Because you can't get the good ending unless you play hard. All right. Uh, do you want animation or do you want comic? Uh, either or, sorry. Let's do comic. Okay. So let's play. This is a game that me and Mexi have wanted to do uh, for a long time. But uh, he's not here. So we'll do it with Apple and I'll do it. There we go. I got Donatello, the best turtle. Uh, what, in terms of gameplay or character? Both. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to Leonardo. Oh, you fucking would. I actually you like Raphael more, good, but it seems good. like he's got more range because of the swords. Ugh, fucking Leonardo. But like, look, I got this guy who's got forks, <laughs> and I'm gonna say he's got like two, like a like a Sticks broken on a like, twi yeah, like a broken on a chain. like a broken mob with some string attached to it. <laughs> and then I got a guy who's got literal swords. Like, I guess I know he's a boy scout and he's boring, but I'm going with like the guy with the sword. <laughs> But that's my first crush, April O'Neil. April O'Neil. Uh, the best. <laughs> my favorite adult actress. <laughs> <laughs> She's not, but I just felt like, you know, shout out to April O'Neil. Raphael's having a seizure, <laughs> looks like. Yeah, oh, oh man, those eyes are freaking out. Alright. <laughs> Toast time, I fucking love this game. We gotta fight Jeff Goldblum <laughs> and the fly. You know, you know what's funny? So, the, the most recent. Um, Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just came out, yes. and Baxter Stockman is in there, and the guy they got to voice him, he is doing a Jeff Goldblum impression. That and I'm like, that's fucking fantastic. genius, that is amazing. That's great. Yeah. Welcome to Button Mashing. Button Mashing the game. Old beat em up. I never actually owned a Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. There's a fun fact about me. I had a Genesis or a Mega Drive. Hey, correct. You people would call it. Wait, also, you know what? It's called the country that made the system called it a Mega Drive. So, you know what? Fuck you. I don't know why they changed it to Genesis. Because Americans are stupid, all right? Let's be, let's be real. Was the name owned by someone? Is that it? I, um, oh, that, you know what? That, that's possible. That's possible. I have, I have honestly view. I have not really looked into the matter. It is very possible there is some kind of legal hurdle. Yeah, because isn't that why um, some people have the Dreamcast logo as blue, or blue, Maybe. and some are orange? I mean, I mean, that's why in Europe, like, Star Fox wasn't called Star Fox until the GameCube. Yeah. The first one was called Wildlife Wars. Um, I want to say because there was some, like, uh, German DJ had the copyright for the name Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. Clearly, he probably doesn't own it anymore, right? Um, yeah, you know, it's, since Star Fox Adventures, they've used, they've been able to use the word Star Fox in Europe. Yeah. Well, at least in England. Here we had uh, Star Fox, it's called Star Wing, and Star Fox 64 is called Lilac Wars. I remember that. Well, there's a history. I think Lilac Wars is a fucking badass name. It is a pretty cool name. Star Fox is pretty cool too. Star Fox is, is I, I think, one of, um, you know how Nintendo talked about, they, you know, doing, like, movies and shit? I think Star Fox is perfect for some kind of movie. Yeah, huh? That concept, like, four bounty hunters in space, like, it's like Star Wars mixed with Guardians of the Galaxy. You can do, you get a lot of mileage. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really cool. I'd watch that. I, I, I would watch a CG movie. Yeah. Star Fox. Yeah. They did those Pikmin short films for a while. Oh, God. There was, there was, you know, that they did do a like ten minute short for the release of Star Fox Zero. Did oh, you see that? Right, yeah, like the animated one. Yeah, the, the kind of like so shaded. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was. I didn't fine. see it, but I know of it. Well, of course, we, we have the actual Mario movie coming out. Oh, that's right. 2021, 22. Which studio is working on that? Illumination. Ah, uh, that's promising. You know, it's like like. Uh, Visually, I think Illumination's actually, I'm, I, I'm a big fan of their vi work visually. Yeah. It's just a shame that their scripts are always mediocre. Yeah. To say the, you know... 
exterminate the turtles. Okay. Oh no, we're the turtles. <laughs> so, Apple. Yeah? History with the heroes in the half show. Yeah? I'm asking you, like, what did you... Oh, oh, I thought you were telling me. I thought you were giving me no. the answer. <laughs> okay, if you... Yeah. Listen up, boys and girls, I want to give you a history of this. I probably will at some point. I know I know too much about this stupid franchise, but... I know uh, they're really close to my hometown. New York? No, uh, Western Mass. A lot of the creators were from, like, Northampton, oh, which is like yes, a 20-minute yes, drive yes. from my home country. Not home country, my home city. Well, of course, you know, you know that's, that's one of we one used, of... We used to have a museum. Yeah. yeah, dedicated to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, it, it's like one of one of the most famous arcs takes place in Northampton. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, well, they, well, in the original comic book, it was adapted in both the movie, the first movie, and the 2012 series after a particularly bad encounter with, with the, the Foot and Shredder. Yeah. The turtles leave New York City and retreat to New Hampton to kind of recuperate in a farm. Yeah, that's, for a while. that's hilarious. Yeah. I think it's a pretty cool place. I'd go there. It's fuck facts as fuck. Um, but yeah, so you know, like, did you watch it growing up? Did you, are you familiar? Did you have a? Did you have a? I watched a few episodes of the uh, the was it late eighties one? Yes, the one. The one that started in eighty seven, I believe. Yeah, I watched a few episodes of that and I liked it. I did play the beat 'em ups. Never really followed closely to the show. I think the last current. Uh, I know, like they've like <laughs> rebooted the show a million times over. Um, wow, well, she had no face there. Zoom in on the face. <laughs> um, but the last thing I saw, which I thought was really cool, was the crossover one they did. Um, oh, Toast Forever? Yeah. That was like 10 years ago, dude. That, well, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I was a pre prefix this with, uh, I haven't seen anything recently. Is it? Gotcha. Yeah, well, so, yeah, so that that was when the four kids show, the four kids show ended with the movie Turtles Forever. Yeah. Where they cross over with the eighties Turtles. And spoiler alert, it ends with them meeting the original comic book Turtles yeah. as well. And it's specifically issue one Turtles, where they're on their way to kill Shredder. Do the two like the so the. Slight history then of, of the comic book, you know, created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. It was it was meant it was done as a kind of loving parody of the works of Frank Miller in his book on, yeah. on Daredevil and Ronin and that type of stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's not for kids. The original books, yeah, like the the, the first issue, um, it, it's it's literally it's it explains their origin. And if anyone's ever watched the four kids show. How the first episode things change has that starts with um, the turtles uh, fighting the purple the purple dragons. Yeah. Pretty much how the the first issue opens, they fight the purple dragons. Um, you know, a, a lot of that dialogue in that um, in that episode is just taken verbatim from issue one. You know, like look at the you know like uh, look at the freaks in the turtle costumes. We're not wearing costumes. <laughs> um, that type of stuff, and then Splinter's like, you know, boy, my sons, I've trained you for 15 years. Here's why. He explains the story of Shredder, and he's like, go fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and issue one is just them going and killing Shredder, because it, it, it was only it was only meant to be a kind of one-off issue. Yeah. That's why like their arc, their story is completed in that issue, and um, it sold so amazingly well. I think they did so many reprints and so many. You know, like they had to keep reprinting it and everything. That um, they just went, kept, you know, started making more issues. Yeah. So, so because they were, they were such um, so India, like with no disrespect, but such like novices. Yeah. Like the the comic book is not even the correct size. It was printed like too big, like a larger. The oh, comic books were oh, like like, a like zine the or something, yeah. Right? It's like like the original. The original printing is like it's um it's a lot bigger than the standard comic book should have been at the time. Yeah, I just uh yeah no that's the last thing I saw and I was like that's cool and then there's like a bunch of turtles and they show up and it was like a nice little movie. I the, I, I still think Turtles Forever is probably the second best of all the turtle movies that have been made. That's probably the second best. <laughs> no joke. I fucking think that it's pretty really good. Tell me, Secret of the Ooze doesn't deserve to be <laughs> Secret of the Ooze. Go ninja, go ninja, go! <laughs> what is with this robot turtle? It's metalhead. More like toy for sale. Yeah, of course, like the 
the Ninja Turtles toy line was uh, they had so many random like they they did series where, like the Turtles were all um, like uh, monsters. But my favorite thing about those, those toys were like you know every turtle would be a different monster. My favorite turtle is Donatello, and my favorite monster is like Dracula. And they made Donatello a vampire. I'm that like, yes, is great. that is that is great. <laughs> They recently did, for the, for the Nickelodeon show, they did Nickelodeon WE crossovers, and I want to say, I think Donatello was The Undertaker. <laughs> Leonardo was John Cena, because of course he fucking is. Sounds all right. Cowabunga. Cow a fucking piece of dog shit. <sighs> James Rolfe's just going to bust through. <laughs> There's two of piece of rock. Yeah, he's, 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 gonna, he's gonna bust through the wall like uh like the Kool-Aid man and demand money from us. <laughs> This is what I, I, my toes, I, my toes. I've never been a big fan of uh, my toes, my this toes. era of like of games just being like. I love these these quarter munches. I just say I don't even mind beat 'em up. I just don't like the one where it's like you got to go through this impossibly fast like response thing. Well, I think and the, dodge everything. These levels are put in to kind of break up the, the monotony, you know. Yeah. These, of course, the um these uh, creatures, the pizza monsters from the episode. Case of the Killer Pizza, clearly based on, on, on the Xenomorph. Yeah. Um, what's great is that the toy company NECA, yeah. which produces like they're known for the high quality figures. They have they do high quality turtle figures. They also have yeah. the Alien license. They released a yellow repaint of the Xenomorph, and they called it the sewer the sewer version, that as is an great. obvious reference to the Ninja Turtle yeah, the Turtle cartoon. I love it. Uh, Northampton, you did it again. <laughs> this is really great, and I posted this on my Facebook. This is really great old article that uh, it just says a town that doesn't need men, and it's just talking about how like there's just a bunch of gay people in Northampton, and they're just like it's weird. Women are holding hands and just dating each other, and it's just like yeah, you could be in you Northampton, cool place. It is the hipster place, and to be fair, there's a lot of cool fun stuff to do. Is it uh, more hipster than Portland? No, nothing can be because that's the hipster uh, I, mecca. I tried watching Portlandia and I wanted to kill I myself. I fucking hate Portlandia. I'll say that on the record. Fred Armisen, if you're <laughs> listening right now, um, I'm pretty sure Portland has probably been over for like a few years. So. Yeah, I think he's moved on to like four yeah. other things. I'm, I think that. he's moved on to being Seth Gleer, Seth Myers. This is the late night. The, 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 the oh, late night. fucking no, dude. Some guy named Seth. He's the drummer for his band now. Oh, it's Seth Meyer, I think that's Yeah, Seth Meyer. Know. You know, the guy who was literally chosen because there was no one else. Oh, that's James Corden. That's all of them post-Conan. James Corden's a piece of shit as well. Fallon's not even funny. We're at the darkest time for late night TV. The only one I can... I, 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 Kimmel, I don't mind. I, yeah, Kimmel's okay, but he's been around long enough. Jimmy Fallon is like, I don't... That he is, is just, the most unfunny I person don't, ever. Uh, that is just like, how... How? How is he successful? They literally... I'm, sure, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm just like I don't. I've never found any. Like every time I ever this... watch like, like like a YouTube clip of his like show, it's so awkward. He's just not funny. He's not in, like interesting or has like really good interviewer. He he's he was literally chosen because they were like, well, shit. Conan just walked out and on... Leno didn't stay as long as he said he would. You were on SNL and you were in a bad taxi remake. Yeah, yeah it's fucking. <laughs> You're in a movie with Queen Diva. There you go. That's, 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 what, that's what you need to be a late night host. Yeah. Be in a movie with Queen Latifa. <laughs> Finally. There's this really great 30 Rock bit where. Um, you should watch 30 Rock. We watched some last night. We, we watched some more. I we finished this game. We watched some more 30 Rock. Uh, there's this really funny 30 Rock bit where. Celebrities were dying, and there's like a rule of threes apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah, and we're, Tracy Morgan's afraid that he's gonna be one of them. And he accidentally, not accidentally, he like walks into Jimmy Fallon and he's like, he, He's like, What's wrong? You look scared. He's like, Are you a celebrity? He's like, Well, I am the Tonight Show. He's like, No, a real celebrity. <laughs> 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 and he goes, I was in a movie with Queen Latifah once. <laughs> he's like, Good. <laughs> and he tries to murder him. That's great. And he's like, Oh, I was like, good, good thing you didn't kill me, because my host, my, my first guest, he goes, 
Because, yeah, but if no one dies soon, I'm killing my second, my killing my musical guest. My first guest is a dog who can call 911. And he's like, that's your first guest? <laughs> <laughs> that show's good. Anyways, um, are we near the end? No, man. Okay, that's what I thought. It was like, this is looking like an ending. We're in the Hitler. So, We're in the... so what's great about the, the, the Super Nintendo port of the original arcade version added a bunch of levels and features. This is one of the best... This is, you know, like normally when you get like art, when you get like home console versions of arcade games at this point in time, yeah, they were always like worse. This is the exception. Tommy, there you go. There's a chick of the use. <laughs> Fucking reference. Tokan Raza. Huh. Weird. Don't worry. Be by for Rocksteady. It's uh, also in the game. Oh, cool. Daddy. No, ma, 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 ma. They're oh, babies. <laughs> oh man. Mama. I'll tell you what, though. Secret of the Booze got me really drunk. So, yeah, we went to um, a local barcade of mine, um, Old North Arcade, which you did not like the name of that place. But... I, Old North sounds like I'm not coming back. That's like, <laughs> it sounds like the neighborhood that was probably Tate. That was like the original <coughs> pitch idea for the city of Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, they did a bunch of um, video game themed cocktails. And Secret of the Booze, of the that's... Booze. Tonic the Hedgehog used to be my go-to drink. No, Secret of the af Booze. After Secret of the Booze, I can't even stomach a Tonic the Hedgehog anymore. I that you. shit to I me. just, like, play it back. You just see you running towards that pizza You've got an extra over. life, man. you got more lives than I do. Ah, whatever, man. I saw it first. You got the fucking swords. Fuck you. Okay, look where the swords came into play. Yeah, I knew I was making an investment. Fucking poser. Thank you. I pose very well. I mean, I do have swords. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> You know what? You hit me as hard as you can with your stick, and I will jab very lightly with my swords <laughs> at you. And we'll see which one walks out of this. It always wait, I always thought it was weird how in England, like, you know, it, it was it was called Heroes Turtles because they thought Ninja was too violent. Yeah. Michelangelo. Some reason they had a big fucking issue of nunchucks. And oh so, yeah, yeah, and so yeah. Michelangelo's nunchucks were edited out. So they were. <laughs> So there, there were like the original cuts of certain English versions of, of the show make no sense. That sounds about right. Um, and it, it's it's a thing where it's just like Leonardo has fucking swords. Why is that okay? But nunchucks, like two bits of wood attached by a chain. Why is that fucking like outlawed? Because you can recreate them. You can make them. Break a break a fucking broom in half and throw some rope. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Oh, snap. so okay, so we're, so we're playing this on hard. On the, we're just playing this on hard mode. The only way to beat Shredder here, yeah, it's a throw. Is to, yeah, it's the throw. But um, in, in hard mode, all of the enemies have a block, and yet the only way to defeat them is to uh, kind of run into them. Yeah. Sorry, am I doing something wrong? No, no, the um, camera. Hey, there's one. Run into him, is that right? Yeah. Run into him. You don't get to run into them, and then when they're stunned, you can uh, throw them a trailer. I'm trying to, I'm trying to run. Uh, double, double tap. tap? Yeah, double tap. I'm trying. I'm giving my best. I switched it to double tap because it makes it makes this easier. Because the the standard is you run after a certain amount of walking. But I don't like that. So. Well, I'm struggling just to do it over here, but everyone can see me just ghost stepping right now. Fucking Leonardo, that's why. You know what, you can do it then. I'm just gonna mind my own fucking business. See how you like that. <laughs> Pretty good conquest. Oh! <laughs> uh. He's my best friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you make me live! <laughs> the original, the original end of Shaun of the Dead. Time. They play this. Ah, uh, yes. Turtles. I will make turtle soup. They said that, right? Yeah. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Remember that? Remember when they had to edit in a, a, a random Asian guy? Oh, yeah, in the movie! <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? So, you know, um, I, years ago, I interviewed the guy who played Donatello in those movies. Yeah? Oh, I, I did one. I did one. Play it back. Oh, nice one. <laughs> um, and I asked, because, you know, because there are rumors how, you know, they, uh, Originally, the, the the tone was a lot darker, and then they had in reshoots they had to go back and make it like lighter and everything. And I asked them, I was like, you know, was that are those rumors true? Is everything because originally the um, 
the rich white guy was going to be Shredder. Yeah, I remember that. Um, and then, yeah, they added an actual Shredder. And they asked the guy, like, is that, is that true? And he was like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was true. He was very candid about it. I, I, I really had a good time talking to him. I think we just need one more. Well, time to get up and do what I do best. Not much. Yep. And it's been working for me. Ooh, you make me live. Whatever this world will throw at me. Not even sure if those are the lyrics. One frame the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> One frame the lyrics. Oh, you're my best friend. Bye, <laughs> Freddie Mercury. Frame actor. I love him. But who the Toto's will be in Smash? Uh, I think Sailor Freddie Mercury is gonna be in Smash. Which is Freddie Mercury with, Sailor Moon. With, with, with Mercury's powers. Dude! That's Sailor Freddie Mercury. She is the best fucking Sailor Scout. She is. She is. I'm glad we get rid of this. I've, how have I died so many fucking times? Did I tell you when I got into Sailor Moon? No, when? Uh, when I was living in London, I just had it. It was on Hulu. Like, all of it was just on Hulu. For no reason. And, uh, <laughs> there's no nudge when I watch that. But, like, it just felt out of place to be on Hulu, because it's not on Crunchyroll. I mean, it is on Crunchyroll, but, like, you think yeah, it'd be there. Yeah, but you're in London. Like, England doesn't have... Uh, England doesn't have as many streaming site places yeah. as America does. And, uh, well, it was there, so I was just like, I guess. And I started watching it, and this weird thing started to happen, which was... I started to care about them as, like, people. Like, I would skip past, like, the fighting monsters bit and see, like, the social, like, problems they were facing and watch that. It was essentially like my soap opera. I was just so invested in them. I was like, they're just a bunch of cute girls who are just looking for love. They just... And I was like, and that's not... If that's not the best metaphor for dating as a woman, I don't know what is. You want to meet a cute boy, you go on a date, turns out he just wants to suck your energy and ruin your <laughs> life. And that's dating. That is... <laughs> In fact, dated. Um, that will this book is probably end part one. Oh shit, you're right. It's fine. Uh, it's perfect timing. They're in part one. Please join us in part two. Shredder just snapped the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs>